92.7 WOBM. Good morning, Sean Sue, with you on a brand new day. It is our Tuesday morning, November 7th, and joining us right now from Caregiver Volunteers of Central Jersey, Linda Conroy is in with us this morning. Linda, good morning and welcome back. Good morning, Sean and Sue. Linda, how are you today? I am fabulous. Everything good at Caregiver Everything Volunteers? Everything is great over at Caregiver Volunteers of Central Jersey. Thank you. Let's yeah, begin. that's good. Let's begin first, Linda, just as a refresher for folks who may not be familiar with this group, what a fantastic job they do with our area seniors taking care of our parents and such. Tell us a little bit about what the group's all about. Okay, be happy to do that, Sean. Caregiver Volunteers of Central Jersey is an interfaith volunteer agency who helps those that are 60 years or older and no longer drive. We help people in 23 municipalities in Ocean County, and I believe it's about 15 municipalities in Monmouth County. And some of the things our volunteers do is take them to their uh, medical appointments, do grocery shopping, Mm -hmm. visit the lonely. We have two fabulous programs, Caregiver Canines, where it's a certified pet therapy program, and our caregiver canines go and visit with their handlers to people who no longer care for their own pets. And then we have our Alzheimer Respite Care Program. Um, our volunteers visit once a week for three hours to give relief to the uh, family caregiver of someone who's caring for mm. an individual with dementia. So it's a fabulous program. We don't charge anything for our services, but we do get our funding from grants and fundraisers. Mm. And all of your staff. That's what it's all about. Volunteers that go out and help the uh, elderly be on their own. Exactly. To be able to continue to live their own life. Exactly, and, and stay at home as long as they possibly yeah. can. It's important to a lot of people. And you know what? It helps the families so much to give that little bit of help if they're the caretaker or just to visit with their mom and dad if they're feeling lonely. You know what I mean? Just to have someone come and visit with them. It's so important. Absolutely. There are so many lonely older adults. Their families might be gone, too. That's it. That have outlived family members, lots of family members Mm -hmm. living out of state that don't get to see them. So our volunteers really, really bring that joy into their life and that little bit of socialization that all of us need. What are the ages Definitely. that the volunteers who go out, what do they range from? Like, wh- how, how old would you say would be the youngest to possibly the oldest? So um, our policy is that you need to be 18 years yeah, or older. Course, so let's yeah. say the youngest would be 18. But we have volunteers up in their mid-80s, Sean, wow. that have been Isn't with us amazing? for like over 20 years. What happens, it's not just providing a, a needed service for another individual, but it's also building a relationship all our volunteers are one-on-one with uh, with our care receivers. So they really start to build a friendship. Mm-hmm. What starts out is doing something just to get you to what you need, whether sure. it be food or nutri- nutritious foods, turns out to become a friendship. Yeah, someone That's wrote so me wonderful. the other day, said they were retired and they were looking for an organization where they could volunteer some time <clears throat> to make it. a difference. And I told them, I said, well, get a hold of caregiver volunteers <laughs> because, it, you know, it's the perfect thing, especially for those who are it's retired wonderful. who might be looking to help out uh, others in the community. So let's talk about your big fundraiser <laughs> coming up. It's called Gifts Galore and More. Yes. It's happening Thursday, November 30th. Yes, we're really, really excited about um this particular event, Sean, because it really culminates with another event that we had. We started a CVCJ champion fundraising campaign on September 18th. It's a 10-week campaign, and we have 10 contestants that are competing for the trophy and for the honor of becoming the CVCJ champion of 2018. That's great. And 2018 is our 25th year. Wow. So our plans are to have a year-long campaign promoting our agency, and our CVCJ champion will be a part of that Uh, all those events that we're planning to do next year. So it's a wonderful uh, exposure for the team that wins. And they've been working really hard uh, doing all kinds of fundraising and also heightening awareness of our agency because it's 10 times a group now that Mm -hmm. that are getting the word out about who Caregiver Volunteers of Central (gasps) Jersey is. What a great idea. Now, this is happening at Lakewood Country Club. (laughs) Yes. Folks can get tickets. 
Yes, yes, yes. So you can get tickets right online if you go to our website, caregivervolunteers.org, and click on events. A page will come up that says gifts galore and more. You could call us, 732-505-2273. And it's a great event. We're going to have a hot buffet. There will be a complimentary glass of wine that comes with your ticket. You will. We will have a fabulous, I mean, really, really awesome gift basket raffle. Mm. All the baskets will be valued at a minimum of $100. Oof. And in yes. addition to that, we have a, um, a small silent auction um, table, too. And we have some really exciting things. How about an Orlando, Florida vacation, <laughs> including four Disney passes? That's right up Sounds your alley, great. Missy. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at that. You've got Disney Sounds there in nice. Orlando with the hoppers and everything. Yeah, so. it'll be. We have tickets to a Devil's Game. Mm-hmm. Uh, four tickets to the Bronx Zoo, including all the Sweet. attractions there. Ooh. Some uh, basket of cheer. I, we're coming into the holidays, <laughs> so what a perfect idea to not only have have the uh, basket raffle for Christmas items or to treat yourself, yeah. but to <laughs> also have this basket of cheer, you know, to uh, for your company and for your holiday uh, events. Great. Speaking of cheer, there is another uh, side of fundraiser that's going to be going on amongst the uh, champion people, uh, the Cigar and Whiskey Fundraiser. And it's going to be held at Jersey Smokes in Jackson. Mm. And that is on Saturday, November 18th from noon to 4. And uh, you can go to Caregiver Volunteers for more information on that. And Anthony Candorosi is presenting this. And uh, it's going to be a great event for caregivers. Yeah, it sounds looks pretty like cool. fun. It, looks, it looks pretty cool. so good. And there's going, to be, there's going to be more than just cigars and, and whiskey, by the way. There will also be food, other non-alcoholic beverages, and, and, and fun things to do. So uh, that's going to be a lot of fun happening on November 18th. So getting back to the uh, gifts galore and more, how do folks get tickets for this great event happening on November 30th? You could get tickets right online at caregivervolunteers.org. Click on events and uh, a page will come up for gifts galore and more. So you could purchase online or you can call 732-505-2273 and get your tickets that way. Very good. Excellent. It's Don't a great event. Their, uh, website as well, caregivervolunteers.org. And expanding both Ocean and Monmouth counties now. So mm. uh, uh, needing more and more support from the community because you guys are expanding to more and more people throughout Central Jersey. Oh, yes. It yes, really we are. is something. It's really exciting you know, the way that we're growing. You know, it really is. We started in uh, Monmouth County a year ago in May. And um, we're in over 15 municipalities there already mm-hmm. helping uh, over 100 people. So it's it's very, it's very exciting. Um, what What's interesting, too, is that the need is so much greater, I think, than all of us realize when the numbers mount up that quickly that there are people out there that really need the help that we're offering. Mm-hmm. And the fact that the services are free, of course, it, it is very advantageous. Yeah. More and more people are now falling into that age category of being able to receive services from uh, caregivers. So as our population is continuing to age, the need continues to grow. So hats off to you guys. You always do a great job. I'm glad to be a part of Caregiver Volunteers of Central yeah, Jersey. Linda great. Conroy, Sue. Also, you do a lot with morning. veterans as well. We yes. need to throw that in, too. Yes, so thank yes. you for that. We're really excited. We have mm-hmm. 48 veteran volunteers, and we pair them up with uh, other volunteers, and they build a fabulous relationship. You know, That's there's fantastic. still World, World War II vets out there. Mm-hmm. Tom's mm-hmm. River has lots of veterans. So we are so honored to be able to have uh, our veteran volunteers pair up with them and, uh, yeah. you know, reminisce and build that relationship. What a great, too. great program. Yeah. Great job. Great like job. Like us on Facebook and you'll see lots of great stories, too. <laughs> exactly. So, thank you. Linda, thanks for coming Linda. in with an update. Say hi to Lynette Thank you. Say I hi will. to Lynette. Thanks, you guys. You're the best. And the thank crew you. over there. Hey, All showers right. on the way today, Sue. We could see some steadier rain by this afternoon with a high near 50. Let's get out yeah. to the highways. because Here comes that rain. Nancy Remy is in hey, with a, a look at the morning commute on this election day. Good morning, Nancy. Yep, we're uh, looking at a little break.